right, guys. Quickly went and added a few straps to the back. So we are good to roll with this. Uh... Oh, and our combine is full again. Man, I'm really bad at paying attention to this stuff. <laughs> hey, at least he's going to be going the right way this time for his auger. So once we get this guy unloaded, we'll fill the Super B and we'll go unload our bales. Kind of have an idea of where the bale sell point is, and I don't think it's going to be nice to unload that trailer, but we'll see. We'll give her a go. So we got a couple of spots there we need to fix. That needs to be leveled out. That's a hole there. All right. Well, I would think that would be almost enough to fill this Super B. Probably not going to get another full Super B from this field by the looks of it. That's the thing. We really need to pour the fertilizer and stuff to these fields because I need some big yields. I need multiple Super Bs off this field, not just one. That guy's unloading. Let's go get this guy. I think our bale sell points down here. Larry's bale shipping right here. Um, why is this tractor following us? My straps like strap it down or something. I'm not sure how <laughs> this tractor got to be a part of the. I am so lost here. Okay, well we're gonna unstrap everything. Oh, whatever it is, we fixed her anyway. I did do some reloading of the trailer and stuff. That might have messed something up. That is one, one nice load of flax straw. I feel like this load's going to be quite tippy, but all I got to do is just don't take a corner fast. That's all we got to do. Oh, great. We have f***ed our trailer now. <laughs> How the hell did those even get unfolded with my bales on the back? Man. I was trying to turn the Jake brake on my truck and I apparently messed up the trailer. Ooh! Most didn't get slowed down in time. Oh man, yeah, I shouldn't have hit that ramp in the back, just ruined it. <laughs> it's all buggered. It said it's a super tight spot to sell bales. I knew those back bales were going to fall. So it doesn't quite work quite how I would like it to, but. So there is some handheld selling involved here by the looks of it, but that's fine. Oh, wow. The bales are a thousand a piece. That doesn't seem that is not even realistic remotely. <laughs> No way you get a thousand bucks for a flax bale. I will gladly take it. That was good. Sixty seven thousand dollars. That is definitely worth doing flax straw. You can go right through there and get back on the road. And if I wanted to come in here with a big super B trailer with bales, I would not fit. It is super tight in here. We got to go unload that combine again. Our super B is full so we can get it going to the dryer and we can get the dryer started. I do like the unrealistic price for bales. That is definitely going to help us buy some more land. Oh. Oh, this guy must be doing back and forth on the top. Why you stop? Let's 
guy emptied into our dryer and like I said, get some canola drying. Really should make another pass of these trees so I'm not going past the house here. Make kind of one that loops out around the back side and that way. The big traffic, yeah, like through the bushes there. I think so. I think that's what we'll do. We'll change our path up. Really would like to keep the traffic to a minimum. Going in front of that house, that is for sure. Alright, let's get on our front hopper. Let's get some canola unloading. I think it's gonna work here. There we go. So the canola's on the board. Now it's no production revamp because that mod, as much as it does a lot of stuff at these scripts and I just, I was going to set it up for the dryers, but it just has, it just conflicts with too many things and I wasn't going to try and sort through all that stuff. So I took the big display mod and then built it into the dryer. I did that way before I'd ever looked at the production revamp to see that it also put numbers for your productions, but building the big display into the dryer was just way nicer. I can change this color to be black, which I probably will. Make it look like somebody's wrote on the right board. We just have enough room in here, but I think we'll fire up our dryer. So come in here, turn that on, green lights go on, you can hear a fan. And then you also have to go in here in the productions and turn it on from here. So we got Nola dryer, propane. I have any propane apparently. I guess we're not going to be drying today. I don't have the mod in to buy the propane and I don't think I put a uh, unload trigger for my dryer for propane because our dryer in real life just is hooked up to natural gas. So that's what I was going to say this one was on, but I never changed that. I forgot to change it. So oh, I guess we'll have to wait until next time. I guess since we have this truck hooked up in the trailers, we might as well just take it back, I guess. Now we got too much stuff going on here, that is for sure. Too much stuff in the way. I always like being in this interior, quite a nice interior. You don't go moving around at all when you're driving in the cab, it's quite nice. You can see your mirrors. Let me get turned around here. Looks like our combine's cleaning up that top corner. I guess I could drive over here and be facing out. Do that. Now that we got all this room and it's fairly dry in here. Yeah, just like that. That'll work. That won't take long for this field to be cleaned up, that's for sure. And then I just got some more baling of some wheat to do and some tillage and we will be off to winter, I think. I know it's been a slow process me getting there, but I just kind of play a little bit here and there. And then, yeah, it takes a little bit of time. I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.